made it. Welcome. You having fun? Yeah. Celebrating a big day today. 24 days since I texted my ex-girlfriend. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, could have used that during the breakup. That was hard. Lost my job and my girlfriend the same day. All right? I was a special ed teacher. Loved my job. One of my kids came up late. And I triggered him when I called him tardy. So he's like, what's on the sheet? I don't know. So, girlfriend broke up with me via text message. Eight months, text message. Like, how does that happen? Right? My buddy, I tell him, I say, hey, you know, my girlfriend broke up with me via text message. And he goes, at least she didn't ghost you. What the fuck? What? It's like telling someone who missed their flight, oh, at least it wasn't spirit. Like, I still missed the flight. There were signs. There were definitely signs. We went to the grocery store once, and uh, I put my groceries down, protein, candy, coffee mug. You know, it's random. She puts down, like, hair care products. What's it mean when a woman buys a bunch of hair care products? Changing the color of the hair? What's that? Could be. <laughs> well, I put my stuff down. She put her stuff down. Then they put the divider in between it. I was like, I'm with her. Like, like they knew. Usually when a woman wants to change her hair, it's, she's going to break up with you. I didn't know. The checker knew. <laughs> like, this isn't going to work out for you. <laughs> yeah, I did get to meet her kids. Uh, we, we, had, we didn't know each other very well yet. But on the dating apps... It says, has kids, and I didn't ask. But she's like, yeah, come on over, pick me up. I'm like, okay, I'll pick you up. She's like, you know, she's like, you comfortable with that? I'm like, yeah, you know. She's like, uh, you know, my children will be home. And I'm like, oh, that's fine. She's like, they would love it if you brought a gift. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. So I got a balloon. I went to the grocery store and bought a single balloon. I was like, my kids share? I don't know. I have no idea. I'm like, all right. So I'm like, all right. I'm nervous. I'm walking up to the door. I'm like, it's going to be kind of like going to the zoo. Like, all the floors are going to be sticky. You know, like, every room will have a different smell. Like, y'all have kids, right? And, like, it's a successful trip if no one throws shit at you. No, no, no one's throwing poop, you know? So I walk up to the door. I got my balloon. And the little girl answers it. She opens up the door, and I'm like, hi, is your mom home? She's like, hmm. You're not as tall as the last one. I'm like, Jesus. I got a balloon. <laughs> like, sticks and stones will break my bones, but your words will last in my head forever. Thank you. Thank you for that. She was super intense, too. Just... So I walk in, and I meet the 16-year-old. And he's like, I heard you're a comedian. And I'm like, oh, I like to make strangers laugh. He's like, tell me a joke. He's, he hasn't blinked yet. I'm like, blink first. Like, are you okay? You know? I go, it doesn't work that way. He goes, cool, tell me a joke. I'm like, Jesus, okay. Why did the scarecrow get an award? He goes, why? I go, because he was outstanding in a field. <laughs> he didn't like it either. I'm 0 for 2. I don't know what I'm doing is what I'm trying to tell you. So the, the third kid, I'm like, you got three kids? Like, who knows? The, like, Hinge didn't tell me this. It's like one kid, two kid, a, a litter. I don't know what you have. But this 21-year-old walks up to me. He's a foot taller. And I'm like, hey, he's not blinking either. I'm like, who are these freaking kids? And he goes, what is that? I go, it's a balloon. He goes, why do you blow it up? I said, I don't know what I'm doing. Like, I don't know. So it didn't work. I'm like, just take the balloon, you know. So no job, no girlfriend. I'm at my apartment, and I'm just hanging out. Like, I have, it's lonely, you know? Like, I, I have to get reacquainted with all my stuff. Like, I, I realized I have, I don't know if you have this, I have a favorite stovetop burner. It's like bottom left, right? Come on, like, all the other ones, it's like, boom, when I move out, I don't have to pay any fee. But this one, I have to replace the oven. Like, it, there's, it, there's all my top ramen and mac and cheese. I was like, I'm gonna do something good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something good with my time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean my closet. I don't have anything to do. And nothing to spend money on. So I'm like in my closet and 
I find a box of memories. And I'm like, yeah, I'm going to dig through these. And so I open them up, and I'm just, I'm just looking for something to feel better. And I find my, my senior year high school photo. And when I first found out that I was nominated Homecoming King, in 1998. <laughs> it almost feels like it was in black and white. Like it feels like a long time ago, right? But I remember I was so excited. I've been, oh man, this, this could change my life. So make me, this is making me so good. Like I had no idea later on I'd be fired as a special ed teacher for saying like party. But I go, okay, like this is gonna be great. Every high five in the, in the lunchroom, every fist bump, every, every like, throw, like, touchdown that I threw in my imagination, like, I was, I was really set on, like, winning, and then finally, I get there, the night of, and they go, ladies and gentlemen, your next homecoming king, give it up for James Lee. They clapped back then, it's cool, like, it's, I have, thank you, thank you, I appreciate it, I should leave, that's my time, that's good, yeah. I hope you're stuck with me. <laughs> uh, all, the, all the good feelings went away when you said, oh. <laughs> it's okay. And then I found a box of gummies that we were going to take on a cruise. And I'm like, all right, these are like 10 milligram gummies. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a gummy every time I feel like I want to call her or text her. So like 20 minutes later, I'm like 12 gummies deep, right? Like, I'm just, popcorn, like, let's go, you know? And I find my favorite red shirt from high school. I'm like, this is amazing. I put it on, and I remember I wore it long, like, when we first started going out, and she was like, you look like a big red flag. I'm like, okay. And that's, uh, it's called foreshadowing, if you have that on your bingo card. My bad. So I put it on, and I'm super high. I don't know, like, if you've had the the, the, the blessing of finishing a box of gummies. <laughs> but you wake up places. So there I am, my head in a refrigerator at Best Buy. I'm wondering, where is all my food? Oh, this place sucks. <laughs> no refrigerator had food. But then I, I hear this movie going on and I walk over to the TV section or float, I don't know, I'm so hot. <laughs> And I'm, I'm watching, and it's the movie Sixth Sense. Do you remember that masterpiece, right? Oh, if you don't remember, you don't, oh, I'm going to watch it tonight. Shut up. It was, six, it was 26 years ago. <laughs> Haley Joel Osment can see dead people. And they tell him how they die. So I'm into it. I'm, I'm here. I'm at the Best Buy movie theater. People are talking. It's a fucking room. And I'm just like, shut up. I'm trying to watch the movie. <laughs> There's this scene where there's this little girl sitting in a tent, and she's dead, but she's alive to him, and he's like creeping up, because he's still not used to seeing dead people, so he's just really slowly. And this guy goes, excuse me, sir, and I'm like, damn! Oh, I sold up my body, like I'm so, I'm just like watching it, like come back, you know? And he goes, hey, I don't mean to interrupt you, but Bruce Willis is dead the whole time. The guy from the New Kids on the Block shot him in the first scene, and he's dead. Like, don't you notice the red doorknob? Like, he goes to dinner with, I'm like, who the fuck, what, shut up. What if I never saw this movie? Like, what, first of all, those details don't matter. New Kids on the Block, what are you talking about? But, he's like, yeah, you know, I just thought you should know. I'm like, you're an asshole, you know. That's why I don't go to movies at Best Buy anymore. <laughs> People are so rude. Stay at home. So then, I wake up at Target. <laughs> and I was, I was thinking about the movie. And you know, like, there's, there's times where he, he, Haley Joel Osment would, would say, like, hey, how you doing? And the, the person would be like, you can see me. And he's like, yeah, I'm Haley Joel Osment. I'm going to go get my master's degree and then come back. He's like, Fat dude. But like, that, that's a whole different thing. But he's like, you can see me. And so here I am at Target. Don't wear a red shirt to Target, ever. Like under any circumstance. It doesn't matter if there's anything on it. I'm high. I've got flip-flops on. I've got cargo shorts. And they're like, you work here. Like, no, I don't. I don't work here at all. So I was getting really tired of people asking me to help. And so I was like, well, 
I don't have a job. <laughs> I don't have anything else to do and no one to spend money on, so, hi, Barbara? Cosmetics? This one. <laughs> Here we go. What are you looking for, rouge? I don't know what that is. I think you made it up, but this looks good on your face. There it is. And then you just walk around Target. Now, walking around Target high or sober is awesome, right? Can we all agree, like, it's awesome. Name for Target, or Target, as my North Scottsdale idiots would say. But this one guy comes up to me, he was like, hey, sir, uh, can you take me to the camping section? I'm like, yes, sir, like, come on, let's, let's do this. What are you going to be doing? He's like, well, I'm going camping, and I need a tent. And I'm like, okay, cool. Taking your son? He goes, no, I'm, I'm taking my girlfriend. I'm like, oh, she's probably going to break up with you over text. So <laughs> you probably just get the cheap tent. Like, you don't want the expensive one. She's going to break your heart. You're going to eat all your gummies and you're going to watch Six Cents and Best Buy. And then I wake up in the book section. And I'm, I'm holding this book and it's like, How to Survive a Narcissist. And I'm like, oh. Even Jaime needs to help me, right? So I'm reading it and it says, To be a narcissist, there are nine traits. I'm like, interesting. My ex-girlfriend had 12. <laughs> That's awesome. And so I'm reading this book and I'm just super into it and I'm just like, maybe if I'm high, I'm like, I can memorize the pages. That's gonna be awesome. And this woman goes, excuse me. And I'm like, oh. So I was really into my book. So I put it down. I look at her and I go, you can see me. <laughs> and then I walk away. Hey, I'm James Lee. Thank you, everybody.